Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I'd like to show you how to use Facebook's graph feature to discover the number of comments and the number of shares or likes for a given URL. And so you may wonder why on earth would I ever want to know the given URL's number of comments or number of shares or likes. And so one of the things that I tend to do while discovering domain names that are uh, near expiring or in expired domain auctions, I want to know oftentimes does the URL, the domain name that is expiring, does it have any sort of social media interaction? And so I use Facebook's graph feature, which I'll show you here momentarily, as not necessarily the deciding factor, but a factor to determine whether or not a URL has any uh, social presence or whether it's had any social presence. And so the graph feature here, which I have listed there, and you can see the link, you don't have to be logged into Facebook to use this, but essentially it's HTTPS um, semicolon slash slash graph dot Facebook dot com slash question mark ID IDs plural equals then whatever the um, whatever the URL is and so in this I'm using Texas Hill Country dot com and so when you basically type this address into your web URL address bar then it returns a JSON object uh, which is what you're viewing here on in the screen and so essentially it shows you that it is texashillcountry.com and then it gives you share so then it gives you the comment count so zero comments but then it gives you what's called share underscore count which is essentially like and share the same thing here and you can see it has 15,240 uh, 40 shares and it gives you you know description title page type is website and then when it was last updated and so forth and so you can literally go there and replace whatever you want here so if we wanted to put uh, let's see dnacademy.com then it'll show you that DN, the URL DN Academy has 167 likes and so often is the case you may not you may find a URL that doesn't have a Facebook page and so I know that's typically the next question well why are the likes different than the Facebook page and that's because the Facebook page is an object in itself or rather an entity a different entity than the URL and so you have a Facebook page that has its own unique URL and then you have the website that actually has its own unique URL so it is capable um, that you find you know something uh, that you find like a, a domain or uh, rather a domain so this URL DN Academy let's say it has a Facebook page then the DN Academy Facebook page and the DN Academy.com URL they can have different likes and so another uh, site um, just off the top of my head is DASD and so DASD.com actually I know that they have 436 437 likes for their Facebook page but as the URL just the DSAD.com it shows 80 likes here so this is just one feature uh, like I said it's not a deciding factor whether or not I buy the domain but it does give the domain um, a social signal that search engines do pay attention to um, amongst the other you know 200 some odd uh, ranking factors uh, per Google so I hope this helps if you have any questions please Feel free to drop comments below, questions below. Also, subscribe to this channel. I put out a video each week as it pertains to search marketing as well as domain investing um, ideas that will generate customer growth and revenue for your company. And finally, please, by all means, go visit kickstartcommerce.com, sign up for our daily newsletter, um, and learn just more in general about search marketing and domain investing ideas to grow your business. That's it. See you next time. Thanks.